um, uh, just get the CSX and then you can always add Great Western to it. Oh, am I was asleep, is he? Nice. Come, come. <laughs> the uncompletionist Just throws another 70 pound on there and we smash we smash 2000 brilliant thank you very much the uncompletionist I guess I'm having uh, ketchup on my sandwich tomorrow that's epic thank you very much everybody that really is epic <laughs> wow really fantastic really really fantastic great work cheers to you sir see you later real sfc oh, okay dunhill um hang on Um, K Dunhill, you need to have a chat with the moderator. They'll be trying to. Can you use West Whispers on PS4? Failing that, just ask the moderators and chat in the normal in the normal channel. Um, you need to ask one of the moderators, and they will uh, and they'll help you find out um, because you need to choose what you want essentially, and they can help you with that. This is incredible, Rob. I mean, just getting the AI working, let alone the cinematics. than a warship and a high mech.
morning driver it looks like it's going to be difficult to drive a difficult drive to kingsway today the weather is atrocious and the line is incredibly busy so we need a wits about us let's open the doors and get those passengers boarded and out the cold shall we Which is better, a Western a warship or a high neck? Oh, I have no idea. In terms of the, my favourite locos, it'll either be the Western or the uh, high neck. Yeah, nicely done, Rob. Captain Jenks raided with a party of three. Thank you very much for the raid, Captain Jenks. Which Western is it? Hussar. D1020 uh, D1028. Western, twice the Maybach music. Oh yeah. No trouble at all, Calspec. Oh, I disagree with that, um, Simon. I think opening cinematics are... Uh, they're a good way of uh, setting a scene. Hussar are cavalry with rifles or muskets. Ah. Train 1 Charlie 20, you are clear to depart as soon as the signal allows. Please be advised that I have allowed local service to Charlie 12, bound for Plymouth to depart in front of your train. You will be able to pass her at Dawlish Warren. Further instructions are liable to be received at Dawlish. Scenario author's note. Due to the nature of the signalling on Riviera in the 50s, some signals will be set incorrectly to danger. Areas such as Exminster, Timoth Docks and Paint and Goodrington section should be treated with care. There is some give in the scoring for being late at Timoth and Dawlish. Alright, let's get this out of the way so I can focus on what I'm doing. Can't do anything yet. The scenario is westward bound western. idea what the next signal is. Oh, this is the, because um, one of them has doesn't require China clay. This is the other one. This is the big, the sort of the f full one. Hey, hey Eric. Right, we've got a clear with a uh, distant uh, danger. Or caution. It's why Moggy and I get on so well, Eric. It's a 
nice sky you've got there, Rob. <clears throat> Captain Jenks, that goal has already been exceeded. Or met, sorry. Well, yeah, met. £2,000 was for to have a faulty uh, bacon buddy. China Clay for Export. Is that it, it, I think one of the descriptions is doesn't need CCFE, which is China Clay for Export. Dig. Just a little amount to keep this uh, stream going. By the way, distraction. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Dash Dig. The signaling is just not telling me what I need to be able to. Uh, confidently run at speed. Just green. Does it have lights? I could turn them on if you want. Oh yeah, it's got useless lights. Red Devil Dom, yes, there's the modern one and the um, um, historic in the 50s. Um, Strat Shadow, what time are we going on to? Uh, I'm suggesting probably a midnight ish. Good distance off. Do you want me to just let you into a little secret of how, I, how I, I've got a really stupid secret of how I remember whether a signal is on or off? If it's on, it means there's something on the track. <laughs> and therefore I have to stop. <laughs> Captain Jenks! Some distant signals for your cup. Try attempt someone to empty it. Near, yeah, oh, nice. And Chris, thank you for the cheer as well. Much appreciated. That was not a pun. It's just that's how I remember what, whether something is on or off. You know, because green, then I can go. If I can go, nothing's on the track. Therefore, it's off the track. Off. That's just the little stupid mechanic I use to remember on and off. Because I was just getting the wrong way around. Well, the distance was uh, was off head, so it would have been disappointing if the uh, signal was on.
Oh, I swear. Some nice colour lights are what this route needs. And paces. If the semaphore is at an angle you can go. Oh no, I get that, but it's it's simply the use of the word on and off. That's now green. One's off. Assuming the train and well, I've got a green, I can carry on. For these signals that are at danger, I presume I tab them, Rob. And does the timing allow me to properly stop and tab, or should I just run through them while smashing the tab key? Starter. And the next one. So the next one's green as well. Oh yeah, I've perked up since I opened the garage door. Always do. to get any water Rob. <laughs> Say that. I mean if this thing uses water for steam heating then it might need to but Good distance is off. Oh I know it probably should be in theory Rob but I'm not gonna trust that. <laughs> Convert brake Oh yeah, I know about the Irish generator cars. Yes, I know what you mean.
Star Cross. Eight twenty five at Dawlish. Six minutes. Not gonna happen, is it? See that Hexy T. Tap this one. Spad Odyssey, is that a Spadacy? It's green, distant is wrong. Oh, we've caught up with the train in front, which seems unlikely. Why did I fail that then, Rob? Eight twenty-five. Two minutes, three minutes, two miles. Why well, there is a minimum speed on it? I hate minimum speeds. Fails technically don't matter. Oh, uh, in that case, I'm less worried. Um, Moggy, are we supposed to be choosing your um, your frozen item? Gotcha, Rob. Gotcha. That makes a lot of sense. Green. Down platform, 1.3 miles. Speed limit is 70. 
Oh, I got you, Moggy. Because what I'll do is I'll put a pole up on the screen, then you can use the pole system. into and out of. <laughs> Slow down too much there. Brakes on this thing are reasonably fierce, it seems. Which is good to know. Means I can commute the thing in and out now. <laughs> oh, we also need to decide your dip. Remind me what the options are for Silver Fennekin. We'll do yours first. And what are we putting the dip into? Or what are we dipping? You say it was like Doritos or something. Still within the minute. If train 1 Charlie 20 are clear to depart as soon as signal allows, please be advised that you'll be held at Timmouth for a light engine move at the dock sidings. Once released by the starter, so be held at Timmouth. Uh, once released by the starter at Timmouth, you may proceed with caution. Be advised you'll be behind train 6 Charlie 30. Uh, you are likely to be held at Hackney Yard on the main to allow for 6 Charlie 37 to proceed into the up main. Signal's good. Sour cream seems to be winning out, Silver so Fennekin. being held at Tynmouth, as promised. Uh. Useless headlights incorporated. Tidmouth is certainly how I say it. I've no idea if I'm right. I'm probably wrong. Rob would be the one to answer that one, I guess.
That's awesome going through there. With all the lights going on and off. Tin method's apparently correct. Yes! Uh, I can't see anything! Taking the chickens route out. Seriously can't see a thing. I dived into a black hole. It's green. Well, again, this is Class 52 Western on the Riviera Line in, in the 50s. I think, um, and we are um, uh, using Westward Bound Western is the name of the scenario. That's just telling me the starter is at danger at Timmouth, Rob. It doesn't tell me that all of the other ones aren't. The energetic shadow, your PC just rebooted itself as well. It's not on, I tell you. Twenty-two versus twenty-six. Sour cream seems to be winning. It's been up four minutes. There you go, Sir Wolfenikin. I think we have your answer. Forty-nine people have taken part in that vote, and they think sour cream is the answer. Oh, starter is a danger. Not for me, it isn't. Distant is. Sufficiently behind. Have I got a handbrake on? Nope, not that I'm aware of. What, no stopping marker, Rob? That was me thinking you were going to punish me all the way through this scenario. Okay, this isn't going to end well. Put the handbrake on now. Not that it seems to make much difference. Well, that worked all right. Oh, I've just opened the doors. Can't leave until they shut now. <laughs> Oh, that's the home. Sorry, yes. In my mind, it was the sting at the start of the station. I don't know why. Silver Fennekin, how about we get us a photograph of um, of you enjoying these um, these treats, so that everyone knows that you are uh, living up to the choice that they made for you. Oops, cleared the next one. A mullet on points now at every station. Never mind. Uh. How would that stop for being a spad, Rob? I stopped. 
handbrake made no difference at all. <laughs> Either that or I turned the handbrake off. Because it seemed to be running fine. I don't recall turning the handbrake off this time around. Still got that red. Yeah, I've still got the handbrake on. Handbrake seems to be utterly useless. Why did they go red? I actually don't know. I was meaning to gun it actually, Rob, but I was trying to ease up on the throttle and I forgot to carry on easing it up. <laughs> I don't know, I tend to prefer salsa with my, um, with my, uh, with my chips. Sorry, nachos and crisps. Chips are things that you get at a chip shop. We had to agree on something eventually, Simon, didn't we? <phone rings> hey, Jehama. Yep, we reached 2000, 2002, in fact. Rob Janssen, thank you for the host. Much appreciated. Welcome to Rob's viewers. No, fries are different to chips, Ben Dennis Castle. Do not get fries and chips confused. <laughs> the flower light in the cab top right, or do you mean top left? This one. That's called an AWS light, and if I approach a light which is a signal which is not at um, green, I'll get an alarm in the cab. When I acknowledge it, the light will, the uh, flower comes on. I don't know if I'd say it was beautiful, Simon. I mean, I was on 95% brake. Uh, Q is C for normally, L with the numpad enter key. Um, and P, uh, PZB is acknowledged with the page down key. When the light comes on, it means sunflowers are in season. Go and get some. All right, fair enough, Moggy. I'm still gradually losing time.
Newton Abbott is next stop. Yes, I got a big bottle of ketchup last night, Morricon. I certainly did. I went back to Tesco specifically for that purpose. Assuming my daughter hasn't consumed it all today. But that was the reason I got a big bottle. Oh, hello. The time suddenly got back into favour of me. Got a red at the end of uh, the platform. More of Rob's lovely AI. Technically under the canopy here, so I don't need the wiper on. I've actually got a bit of time, 30 seconds to stop this properly. Yeah, this is cracking scenario, Rob. However, folks, we've got to 2002. Don't let it stop there. If you feel the urge, if you feel that urge to do a little more donating, go for it. Don't don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> Hey, Ripku! Oh, it's an auto host. Well, hey, Ripku, anyway! What did I get? 145 for the time. 49 for the accuracy. I lost one point. Train 1, Charlie 20. You're clear to depart as soon as the signal allows. Please be advised that I have released Train 2, Charlie 41 ahead of you as it's running behind schedule and needs to make up time. Your path 2C41 at Torquay via the good siding. After Torquay, your path is as far as Goodrington. Well, we have the signal. Yes, I have looked at the Festenio line on UKTS. Yes, it's glorious, Deadly Dorito. Absolutely fantastic. PZB is the page down key in our rails. Remember that you don't get any kind of a warning that you need to acknowledge it. You just have to know the right time to. Oh, that scared the bejesus out of me. For some reason I thought I was going to go right for a minute there. Okay, see you later, Kate Dunhill. We'll be here. It's got Fistinial logos all over it, Dundee Dorito, when I looked at it, so I don't think I can. Got green lights. Green with a uh, distant green.
Oh, we've got another donation I missed. Bad me. Oh, it hasn't come in yet. Chippy! Thank you very much, Chippy! Hello, dear. No! No! Why did that not end? If that didn't end, then I'm I'm taking it. Thank you for the donation, Chippy, by the way, yes. Brilliant. Another 15 gets us up to 2017. Must have changed just as I went past it. <laughs> oh, that's class. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Can you see anything that warns you about Pizza B? Technically, yes. That's twice you don't get any I'll take it the signals on this route are set to terminate on SPAD then. Oh, you did, Rob. Yeah, that was my bad. That's absolutely my bad. I fully take that. Uh, you do technically get warning of what you need to acknowledge on PZB um, NL Rails, but it's because the signals are in a particular state and that tells you you need to acknowledge it. It's up to you to know where they are by watching for them and then to know that when you go over it you'll need to press the page down key. Now the, what you could do, one advice I was given, was every time you go over something that looks like a magnet, smack page down and see what happens. If 1000 hertz comes on then deal with it quickly. What's more unforgiving, PCB or CIFA? CIFA is really reporting, you, you get a light on the dash, if that light doesn't, you don't acknowledge the light, then it says CIFA, and then it comes out. So you get two warnings that you need to react to it. PCB, you get no warnings. So I would say CIFA is incredibly forgiving. But if you're learning PCB, do not turn CIFA on. Safe is easy, but it's annoying. Distant is off. Yeah, 
Liston is on. What about something like Mannheim Karlsruhe? Or um, Munich Rosenheim? Tab this signal. Uh, no. See what's going on if we're supposed to be tabbing this one. I think he thinks I'm the two C four ones in spilling my block, maybe. Yeah, there he goes. Maybe it's a wrong signal that I needed to. Watch the PTG Rail video, NL Rails. It's a really good um, start of a ten on learning PZB. Can someone link it to uh, link it to the channel? Guess can. Unfortunately, no subs aren't auto entered into giveaways. Yep, donations are at the year we're streaming. <laughs> you think I climbed the bank faster than you did? Is that a good thing? Oh, my headphones have just died. Let me just pause the game for a moment. Wireless hype. The Twelve hours is about right for them, I think. Georgie LaForge. See you later, Chris. We'll see you in the morning. Thanks very much for everything today. Necessary. Stream tomorrow, tomorrow about nine o'clock. Uh, Jens.
good. Piston is on, off, sorry. And so I to run in the British way, oh dear. Remember in your scenarios you can add your own marker, just add some destination markers, then you can use that to reroute them. Trying to work out where my signal is. Is it that one over there? Guess it must be. Next <clears throat> signal. Good. We are good on the signal front. 35. You've gone really shaky and sore. That doesn't sound good, Amar. You coming down with a bit of man flu there. Thanks, Cameron's Gaming. No, because I never, I never reload from save stand demand. Savings for cheaters. Oh yeah, 25. <laughs> I have a white light at the end. There's a white light at the end of the track. Paynton is next. Mount Carlisle and Munich Augsburg. I don't know, they're both sort of... I don't know is the answer to that. Possibly the Munich one. Oh, the Mannheim one, sorry. Yeah, possibly the Mannheim one. Munich Augsburg is it's okay, but it's kind of it's an arrow straight route really in terms of track. It's um, too much firecracker sauce, EC. Whoops. Yes, um, uh, destination markers that you add to the scenario are added to a scenario properties thing. Oh, I'm not paying much attention to the score, um, Rob.
more greenness. Yeah, you can even modify track properties for a scenario without damaging it if you want to uh, in LRL. So if you want to change the directionality of a bit of track, you can even do that just for a scenario and that saves it essentially as an overlay unique to the scenario, which is kind of awesome. Doesn't let you change everything, but you can change the speed limit, the directionality, a couple of things like that. So you can use that for TSRs, for example. Green. Green, we we'll go okay into painting. well late into this station. Oh, I do hope your younger brother is okay, Ralph Ann, and that you're not the younger brother. Yeah, it's really good, isn't it, Chris? The whole thing's just got a really nice feel to it. Might get a clear run through to Churston being this late. We shall see. I don't make any assumptions, to be honest. I, I, I act like I've no idea what's in front of me, and I follow the signals. Except when I run them. Well, I didn't run them, did I? Because it, it went green. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, oh, hello, train penalty. <laughs> but I get positive points for the start. Oh, 29, not so good. Train 1 Charlie 20, you are clear to depart as soon as the signal allows. Please be advised that 2 Charlie 13 is ahead of you on the branch line. You will pass Churston on the up platform, allowing 6 Charlie 77 to shunt into Brixham Branch. I can't remember half of what that just said. Can you have multiple font colours for box? I don't see why not. It's just font tags. Wally just advertised Dovetail on TS18 via the show. Nice. He said, you're hungry for uh, lollies and why is your tablet I was just thinking, actually. What's going on?
green again. Goodrington. Oh, we're doing trucking next for a bit. It can't charge much faster than it, if it's turned off, Chris. <laughs> uh, American trucks in New Mexico. I break the illusion for you. Look, see how the shadow looks like that? Yeah, look at it in the cab. It's just that little bit there. Because <laughs> the rest of the logo doesn't exist. See? <laughs> Distance on. Jill says, can you do shorter keywords for the giveaways? See, now I'm going to be really evil. Oh, screen. No, I was thinking something like, um, no, Jill, I can't do really short, really short keywords. You'll have to make do with this. Something like that as a keyword.
Ground signal. Can you smack him now? You do not need permission from me, Jill. You should consider that question an automatic yes. Sneaky evil. Is this a tab rub or? Shorter keywords are for people who don't like typing and those who want to win would actually type long keywords. By the way, don't forget to donate with gift aid folks. <laughs> Good night, 4072. We still have 142 prizes left. Wow. Can we get it to 2050 by the end of this scenario? And then I'll do 15 giveaways. That is if the mods aren't, aren't going to throw a <laughs> throw their hands in the air at that suggestion. <laughs> Hello, Rose. Were you here when I did Jan Stober's um, scenario? I mean, that scenario basically covers just about every aspect of EZB. <laughs> Rob, you are one lucky kid, And I tip my hat to you, maybe I'll get us back tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, Rob, you're an absolute gentleman. You're an absolute gentleman. Thank you very much, Rob. That gets us to 2050, folks. 15 giveaways, courtesy of Rob Powell. <laughs> Did anyone clip that? Non-spad.
Because that non-spad has to be the one to end the failure on. Because it looks so much like it's it's a fail, and then it turns out it wasn't. <laughs> uh, that's brilliant. It was clipped. <laughs> Sweet. Nice one, Ayrton. As long as they're clipped, I can go onto a menu on because as a streamer, I can see all the clips that have been taken from the stream. As long as I know it's clipped. All right, we're on the level. Next signal's on. <laughs> Those clear hacks, yeah, really. Oh, it doesn't like it. Okay, it doesn't. I guess that doesn't surprise me too much. It's, it's not a full HTML renderer. A green home. I know, yeah, I've got a magic button. If I push this foot pedal down, it disables all the anti it disables all the spadding. Shh, don't tell anybody, yeah. G2 scenario did not go well. I had to skip it in the end. It's hard. And I have to also remind myself how to drive the G2 as well. Ooh, I won the Pendens Castle. I might I may have done that, I don't know. If I did it was a long time ago, but it's a good shout, I'll have to check that. Isn't this career? Well, that, I, I must admit, I thought. I've had failure due to spads before, so I don't see why it wouldn't otherwise. The only setting that I needed to for one scenario was, was to. was the coupling compatibility one, and I already had that one turned on anyway. That, Mr. Powell was your finest work yet.
Did you see it change, Rob? Fifteen giveaways coming up in a minute. They always sound like I've got a cough or a cold or something, Deadly Dorito. It's always something. Sliver. Yeah, right. <laughs> if I'm lucky, I'll be positive. <laughs> right, I must admit, I don't recall unticking that box. However, I am going to go and double check. Was that your score on your first attempt, 4072? Oh yeah, that time is wrong. That time is since the stream restarted. Mold Junction. Your first attempt was as bad, your second attempt was as bad, and your third attempt was 682. Okay, so I got 56 on my first attempt. <laughs> that was quite the drive, driver. I think we should head to the staff room, get ourselves a nice hot drink. This train isn't due to leave for London for another half an hour. Although the weather, the way it is, if it gets any worse, it won't be leaving. Scenario complete. Fantastic. Can I do that multiple times? I need to tick that multiple times. All right, let's just have a quick look in here. Settings, gameplay. Oh, passing danger signal ends game is off. But does that apply to career scenarios as well? 